आर यू किडिंग मी आर वॉट वॉट दिस फिल्म इज अ टॉर्चर आई कैन नॉट बिलीव यू गाइज मेड बी वॉच दिस दिया इतुने क्या किया हेलो गाइज आई एम नोना प्रिंस एंड दिस इज माई एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ वॉचिंग दिया आई नॉट कॉल दिस अ मूवी रिव्यू आई एम नॉट अ क्रिटिक आई एम नॉट गिविंग इट स्टार्स और रेटिंग्स नो नॉट एट ऑल दिस वीडियो इज गॉन बी डिफरेंट आई गो थ्रू द फिल्म हाउ आई एक्सपीरियंस इट एंड आई ट्राई माई बेस्ट टू एक्सप्रेस एवरी थिंग आई वॉज गोइंग थ्रू आई वॉचिंग दिस फिल्म इन दिस वीडियो सो इफ यू लाइक दिस वीडियो डू गिव थम्स अप शेयर दिस वीडियो कॉमेंट बिलो एंड कंसिडर सब्सक्राइबिंग एंड सपोर्ट एंड हेल्प द चैनल ओके दिस इज नॉट अ नॉर्मल फिल्म आई टेल यू नॉट अ नॉर्मल फिल्म इट हर्ट मी हेयर ओके इट्स अ टॉर्चर वॉचिंग दिस फिल्म एंड आई टेल यू वाई बट फर्स्ट I just love the first 15 minutes of the film. It's so good. In Indian cinema, I have not yet seen a female. We are looking through her lens, how she likes a boy and she wants to go to him and she's nervous and all that. We always see boys go through that. And I'm a boy. I know that feeling. Hashtag #forever single. I go through all of that. And I know other boys who do too. But I didn't think women go through that, but why women? But they do too. This film showed it and beautifully. I love the editing. So many minor and minimal VFX shots. How she's dreaming, how she's thinking about him, everything. How when they're going to cross each other, the rapid editing to increase the tension. I love it. And then the first heartbreak. He left the college. Wow. What a tragic story. And 3 years later, he's back. And this is the most awkward moment of all time. She knows him. She loves him. but we have no clue if he even know she exist and if they even talk like as a strangers like how this will work oh my god this is amazing what is this all building up to within 30 minutes all of this got resolved which i didn't like he also loved her he was also following her he couldn't go up to him that is believable for me i can relate to that hashtag #forever single and the first twist first of all you don't look behind and talk Second of all, you wear a helmet. You wear a helmet while riding a bike. It was a it was just ridiculous like they killed him. And then we go to the first scene of the film. She's standing in front of a train. Oh my god. They resolved that really quickly at 45 minutes only. What are they going to show in the rest of the film? I wonder. need to point out one thing that the cinematography was really good and there were a lot of symmetrical shots now what is the meaning behind it is up to all of us to find since the accident i was on my toes i knew something else is going to come the scene in the train when adesh slipper falls off i was like maybe he'll fall off and he'll die and it was going to happen but it didn't i was scared and when they were having a good moment in the train i thought it will blast yeah it will blast i'm sure but still 45 minutes were remaining so something had to happen and that's how you catch a train ddlj showed some shit logic that she's running for srk she's not entering the bogie just next to her no she'll run to him this movie shows no just enter the bogie meet in the middle come on it's not rocket science thank you for doing that now this image i just paused and laughed for 5 minutes this is awesome awesome then when the love story between adi and diya started it's getting getting boring i understand you have to show all that stuff to build up the relationship build up the love but it kind of felt boring and at this point i thought the film should be named diya and adi and his bike and his mom yeah it got a little boring but then they came together amazing i really like the point the way they showed the visuals beside them and then they realized they both love each other really like that but the film is not over there more 30 minutes now what else will they show i wonder where it's going yes yes that was my face that was my face when the twist came are you kidding me are what what i, I, was, I was wondering why why he was dead on spot and why was he bandaged and all why was the blood showing like if he's dead he's dead right when they showed her dead body right oh my god whose idea was this who's i the dad the dad really really you think that's a good act? 
you lied to her she he was the love of her life are you kidding me she was going to commit suicide she would have died you satan it was freaking torture and this dialogue makes a lot of sense life is indeed full of surprises and miracles you see the hockey sticks behind him i would have beaten the shit out of it ah How could you do this? How could you do this? Okay. Let's move on. I'm still angry. But let's move on. Just a question. They went on a bike ride. Okay? And then both of them were in the train. Like where is the bike? Where is the 2.25 lakhs bike? Where is it? Okay. This guy Adi, he deserves a Nobel prize for what he's doing. Oh my god. Oh my god I cannot believe this I cannot believe this This is the most awkward moment in the history of cinema prove me wrong The mom said He didn't even read the letter to her oh my god oh my god what is this movie hopefully now we'll get a happy ending both of them will get together finally Cannot wait to see it I cannot take it more now Let's have an happy ending and move on what he died no he didn't die he escaped they didn't show us they didn't show us he he's all right guys come on they cannot do this no no they cannot do this no why why would you do this why oh this picture sums up the whole film this expression on her it sums up everything about this film okay this film is a torture i cannot believe you guys made me watch this oh my god oh pain <laughs> i'll never forgive you guys i'm never going to forgive you hey by the way just for knowledge what did adi do what was his job really so guys all the jokes apart it was a fun movie it was really different and it did hurt me I agree but I like the ending you know it's different it's something we have not seen and I enjoyed the film but there were some problems for me there were a lot of great ideas in the film of course they went to a different route what they wanted to show it was like a shakespearean tragic story but there was a lot of elements in the film which I thought could have been explored more maybe in different films but the ideas were really good for example the starting the whole film just being through dia's eyes that would have been really good it could have been very different film again the editing and cinematography here when she's with rohit again they are symmetrical shots again but they are so dull there's no energy into them but previously when rohit and dia used to go out they used to have fun there was energy in the frame but now there's no energy it's dullness it's quiet great job really found the supporting characters just one note like there was nothing to them all the supporting characters they were just a piece of paper even the mother like there was not much to her even our own characters we never know what they do what they what is their jobs of course we don't need to go see them what they are doing and all that but at least it should be there present that yeah they have some work to do in life and avad is coming to his home place going to mumbai like it's just so easy for him like what does he do that he can be do that these things really provide depth in the film and i felt it was missing and i think almost all side characters even rohit for that sake like i felt that there was not more personality to him dia of course she had we knew her from her inside what she is thinking how she is thinking even adi had a really good personality but others not much there is one more thing the movie gives the audience a choice you know with dia we also are rooting for one of the guys but i am sure most people will be rooting for adi instead of rohit because adi had more personality than rohit and he was and he was given more scenes he had more things going around his life we knew more about him than rohit and i wish makers give rohit also something because he was just there because he loved dia right like there's nothing more to him than that of course there will be people who will be rooting for rohit 
but most probably people will be rooting for Adi and that's very clear and that's the issue i wish they had given something equal on both sides with dia we were also confused whom to choose that's it guys enjoy this film heartbreak it still hurts very different movie and i'll do recommend this film to anyone so thank you guys for watching if you like this thumbs up share this video comment that really helps the channel if you're not subscribed check out other videos and if you like them too do consider subscribing and i'll see you next time wash your hands be safe